which one's more special 38 special or 44 special and today what i have is lead semi wad cutter hollow points a very old school design but very effective our 38 special and our 44 special here is both underwood our 38 special is a plus p 158 grain our 44 special is a standard pressure 190 grain now that's kind of a misnomer in a way a lot of people will say well that's not fair you should have done plus p versus plus p but the reason why this is listed as plus p for our 38 is because sammy spec specifies there is a plus p 38 special as well 44 special plus p does not really exist so it is pretty much loaded the way you would load a, a plus p but it's not labeled as such that's just kind of some old school facts about you know 44 special and how they're done there so i'm going to go through my uh, four inch barrels here my smith and wesson 686 and 357 mag and my smith and wesson model 69 and 44 mag to test these we're gonna to try to find out which is the better special. I get into debates with people and the common thing people say is, wow, 44 special is so expensive that there's just no way it's any good. But that's really not true. When you're talking, if you like walk into a normal store that doesn't have a lot of ammo, yeah, you're gonna find 38 special. You probably won't even find 44 special. If you do, it'll be twice the price, but that's for target ammo. When we talk about stuff like this, you know, this is actually more expensive than this 44 special. So, you know, it's not that much more expensive if not less expensive when you go for the defensive rounds and when it's a revolver you know how many rounds you actually need to fire to know it's going to function that's kind of my point on that so 38 special versus 44 special we're going to go through the chronographs to what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time then i'm going to do my 10 percent clear ballistic test we're going to just go into plain clear ballistics to get our best potential see what the best potential is of those bullets we got no denim or anything like that in the way to clog hollow points we'll see what kind of expansion and penetration we get and then after that i'm going to do more of a real world simulation and remember clear ballistics is about half as dense as human flesh sometimes people don't understand that so i'm going to put on four layers of denim in front of three inches of clear ballistics which is really like an inch and a half pectoral muscle after that we're going to have a quarter inch mdf to represent hitting ribs or sternum into more clear ballistics so we'll see how the bullets do compared to our best potential and our real world simulation and then i'm going to shoot up my steel see what kind of practical accuracy i can get so let's get started with this test all right our 38 special 158 grain is rated at 1160 feet per second our 44 special 190 grain is rated at 1150 feet per second so almost the same velocity so let's see what we get here with our 38 special plus p See how close we get to 1160 feet per second. 1107. 1176. Hold that one. 1150. 1180. 1153. So a little bit inconsistent, but yeah, basically rated velocity. All right, our 44 special rated at 1150 feet per second. Let's see what we get with this. 1008, 981, 1005, 990, 983, and I trust those numbers because the recoil on this was actually kind of less. Case extraction is pretty good here. You know, this revolver hangs up a little bit, but it actually comes out better than most magnums, so that's good. Our 38 special, that always comes out really easy with this revolver. It's generally not even a push, just how this gun is. So overall, hmm, that uh, 44 is kind of an inflated number, um, but the 38 special was about right for its rate of velocity. So let's hit our ballistics gel block with these and let's see what we get. All right, 38 special, best potential. Let's see what this does. All right, let's try our 44 special. And by the way, I don't know why they needed to inflate the number on this because what it is is actually pretty good velocity for what we actually got. So the fact that they didn't list it at about a thousand, I don't know why they didn't, because that would be fine, but 44 special, see how this compares. Let's take a look at that. Uh, 
All right, so there's a significant difference there. I wasn't expecting to actually get into that second block there with our 38 special, but it looks like we did. And it looks like the expansion's kind of a little bit off. Let me try one more time before I move on. I want to confirm that as not being just an off thing. So another 38 special. I'll go and compare those. <laughs> exactly the same all right so yeah we confirmed it we just don't really have a lot of expansion going on it just looks a little weird like it's not expanding at all you know we're both at the same penetration with our 38 special 23 inches interesting our 44 special is actually a little shallow at about 10 and a quarter inches now i don't necessarily trust this completely because the human body is not just jelly but i do feel like when we put on our mdf here to re represent our ribs and we put on this denim here i think it kind of adequately represents the real world so let's hit it like this and see how they compare all right 38 special quarter inch mdf some denim see how it does let's try our 44 now all right same thing 44 special see what this does Let's go take a look. All right, so believe it or not, this is actually our 38 special impact, and this is our 44. So I can kind of see what's going on here when I look at this, because now we have some idea that I didn't see before on our plain gel, is that the kind of like the skirt or the hollow point is expanding too much and, and coming off. And we can see that right there through our MDF. So through our MDF, our 38 special penetrated to about 19 and three quarters, which is pretty good. But you know, we lost that skirt and we can kind of see pieces back here on that second shot with our 38 and plain gel. That's where that skirt went. I didn't realize that that was that's what was happening. The 44 special, we got a penetration that's pretty ideal here, about 15 and three quarters. Looks like we got some expansion here. So that's very interesting here. I'm going to say as far as the numbers go, both of them kind of failed the the quote unquote FBI you know statistics where you need at least 12 inches and and gel across the board or you don't want more than 18. I'm going to say both of these probably did equally well because our 44 kind of over expanded or our more real world it was perfect. Our 38 special and our more real world was pretty good but a little bit over penetration but you know most people would rather take this than take 10 inches so about even there. So let me shoot up my steel and see what kind of practical accuracy I can get. Here's our second block, and we can see right here, this is a 38 with one of our 38s with our um, plain gel. And here's that skirt that impacted the second block and didn't penetrate enough into that uh, second block. If you ever wondered why there's marks on my bullets in my photos, you know, I mark these to make sure which is which. So I mix them up when I measure them, but you know, we're seeing a big thing here. Our first uh, gel shot here, you know, we lost that skirt in that first block. Our second one, same thing, busted up a little. All right, going through our medium density fiberboard, it stayed together. But you know, well the bullet didn't stay together, but that band did, so it's busting off. So what we're seeing here though, with our 44, it's more consistent. You know, this is a massive mushroom, that's why we didn't go through uh, very deep with our gel shot. But when we look at more of our real world here, that chunk of lead moving a little bit slower. This right here is about perfect. So when we look at perfection, when it comes to ballistic performance in our real world, that's pretty good. That's what we want to see. We had adequate penetration, controlled expansion. With these here, with our 38s, we did not have controlled expansion even through our medium density fiberboard. So this is our real world 38 and our real world 44. So yeah, the 44 did quite well. 
All right, so it's time to figure out what, which one is more accurate, 38 or 44 special. So to do this, I'm gonna try to just do the every man thing here. I'm not gonna try to pull the gun up, see how fast I can get on target, all that, because that's very individually skill-based. <clears throat> what I am gonna do is to shoot these double action, 25 yards, do the best that I think I can, aiming center mass, and see where they hit. So let's try our 38 special and see what this does. couple there to the left I was aiming totally centered that's what we got 44 special let's see how this compares all right can't really tell which is which but it looks like they hit basically in the same spot so let me back it up a little bit all right 75 yards from the target a lot of people kind of get upset about this like why are you doing that you can't shoot a threat from that far and that's not really the point the point is that when you go further away from your target you start introducing you know issues that are variants that can make the bullets you know not necessarily fly perfectly straight and this kind of gives me an idea because everything that you're seeing up close is going to spread out bigger at distance it's going to amplify it and if one is more accurate at distance well, that tells me something so 38 special gonna go slow fire see what I can do huh I'm not really sure where that went so let me keep trying here and try to pinpoint where there's where these are going I'm not 100% sure where they're going They're just shooting a little low. All right, pulled that one a little bit high. Let's see if this hits any harder at distance with our forty four. those went absolutely no idea left one I'll keep trying So I couldn't really pinpoint what I did wrong with the 44 there. But what I could see is that, at least for me, I'm a little more accurate with that 38 special at distance. So generally, I was kind of thinking, you know, a heavier bullet's going to do a little bit better at distance because of the momentum. However, there's only a 32 grain difference between these. So the 38 actually had a lot of its own bullet weight going on there. So... What I'm going to see from, say from this test is, you know, practical accuracy at a little bit closer range. They're both about the same. I did a little better at distance with our 38, not our 44. Uh, so I guess our 38 is a little more accurate. But what we saw in our ballistic gel test with these particular rounds was interesting. It's like the 44 was right at about the right velocity to get that bullet expanded. But because of the type of bullet it is, of course, it's going to parachute out and get just massive in plain gel but it was pretty much perfect in our real world simulation with our 38 special they push that too fast for how that bullet de is designed if this were the standard pressure version i think it would do pretty well in here or you know the plus p probably would do perfect in the two inch barrel but i was just going for max power so what i'm going to say here is that as far as four inch revolvers go 
the 44 wins this one 100%, just because the felt recoil was actually less than the 38 because it's a standard pressure. We got everything we wanted to get basically with our 44. With our 38 Special, it was just a little bit too much, and that might sound counterintuitive, but yeah, it was a little bit too much velocity. It would do better going a little bit slower. So overall, I'm gonna say uh, 44 Special is kind of the better Special in a way. It's just not practical for most people, you know. If you're gonna get defensive rounds and you're not gonna shoot a lot, which you don't necessarily have to shoot a lot with a revolver to get good with it and to uh, know the ammo's reliable, you know, it's kind of your own, you have to answer that question for yourself, whether we're getting a 44 specials worth or over 38. Most people pick 38, and it's a good caliber. So that's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.